What's up guys? It's been a while, but we're finally gonna open up some cards for a new card game, Shadowverse Evolve. I got starter decks on, let's see, I think one, two, three, and six. Whew. I'm really far behind. I wasn't even planning to really get these, but I couldn't help myself. I, j I just needed to get it. So let's, whew, let's open these up. Oh, I'm so happy about this. So happy about this. Uh, it, and look at these decks. Look at this. It's been so long since we opened like an actual, like, I don't even think I've ever opened anything like this on the channel. It's like an actual cool full-blown deck. Not the, the the small, like a, affordable decks. Like, um, let's see if I can compare it. <laughs> I mean, this is cool. It all saves, um, you know, saves things, you know. What am I trying to say? It saves boxes, plastic, eco-friendly. It's cool and everything. But it's really cool to just see a full-blown deck. And I've been pretty much kind of like a fan of, um, like, Rage of Bahamut, Grand Blue Fantasy, things like that. I play... Uh, Grand Blue Fantasy as well, the gacha game, so I know some of the, the characters from that in this. I watched Shadowverse, the first anime, well, I had to quit during through. I wasn't enjoying it too much. The characters were very, very generic. I was like, oh my goodness, main character, you know. Super happy-go-lucky, never loses. None of the characters had anything special. But the new one, Shadowverse Flame, I've been really enjoying that, and I kind of reignited my love for Shadowverse, at the card game. So I was like, you know what, let me... You know, get these decks. I'm really happy about it now. I I'm really enjoying the anime, so it's really cool. And look at, wow. Look at the stuff you get in it. I don't even know what this stuff is, man. I I'm not even too familiar on how to play at all. Maybe I should play the, the game. I have it downloaded on my tablet, but I haven't, like, really downloaded, you know, played it yet. And, of course, you got a... Uh, this is the mat and rules, probably... Oh, no, it's just the, the rules. Wow, look at, look at all this stuff you gotta know. And of course, you, if you guys don't know, this was made by Bushiroad, so I'm kind of having my fingers crossed that we actually might get an English release. Bushiroad um, games do come out very often in English. Um, I don't know what this is. I guess this is your life counter? Yeah, it's like a life counter. Like, you'll get a match at the gathering. This is clearly going to be a mat. I see graveyard and stuff on here. Funny how graveyard is, like, totally just written in English. But yet, yet the whole thing is written in English. This is... I didn't even just think about that, Evolve, yeah, all of this is written in English, that's kind of, I, it's kind of funny, I didn't even notice that until now, okay, I wonder if we should use this mat, I wonder if I could just put down this mat and we could just see how things go like this, sorry, that's me, so yeah, your leader card will go there, and of course your deck, your graveyard, I wonder if we're doing it justice. Let me try to move things. Let me try to, so we get it actually on screen. I'm really bad at this. After I edit videos, I look, I'm like, man, I had that totally off the screen. <sighs> but you guys have been doing it. It's been a while since I actually, like, opened anything. I don't even remember what the last thing I opened was. Maybe it was Divine Belly I don't remember. Actually, no, it was the, the actually Rush Duel deck. So it looks like you got a whole bunch of things for, like, counters, like in Pokemon, minus three, plus three, stuff like that. So, I guess, you know, when your life goes to zero, or defense, whatever it's called, goes to zero, they'll get defeated, but I guess if you add power, there's a way to keep track of that. I'm not sure what all this stuff is. So many things on here in this game. There's your player points here, your max points. So I believe the way it goes is that every single turn, you go up your your max points go up and then of course you have your player points to show how much you're decreasing but your max points are always going to stay the same it just shows how much you go up to in your player points every single turn hope that makes sense i'm not too sure i'm hoping i'm making sense people also i gotta buy myself some card sleeves as well because i don't want these cards to get messed up but look at this i can keep them in this little box thing for now the heck why is there a card like this so i guess this is what's considered there's the leader cards so i guess that'll go here, even though I thought, okay, for a second I was like, is this the leader card? I don't know. Wait, what are all these cards? So, I think the deck is 50 cards, including like an evolution deck or something. I think these are like, okay, these are like tokens and stuff, so these will be kept outside the game. This is thick. Are they just stuck together? No. Okay, they're just incredibly thick, so they wouldn't go on your deck. These are some evolve points. I think you just use these so that you can actually evolve your cards. These are really, really thick. Okay, so that's how you know you can't mistakenly put these in your deck. There's no way you can actually do it. So let's look what we got here. Beautiful artwork, just like in the game. 
you know what I mean, like um, the actual uh, mobile game. Whew, I'm losing it. It's really early and I'm really excited. Wow. So you get three of these foils. Whoa, you get more foils. How many foils are going to come in here? So I'm guessing these are more of your strong cards. It says LG. I'm not sure what that rarity is. GR. Ooh, man, I got to know what these rarities are. I know there's Ultra, which are like like your really higher rarity ones. SR. So, so this, I think this is Forest Craft. I believe that's the name of the craft. I only pretty much know most of the rules thanks to the game. I mean, the anime. And Shadow of Flame has gone over much of how to actually play the game. Just not enough for me to like know completely how to do it. Look at this guy. Reminds me from Woodmon from Digimon. She looks cool. Man, this artwork is beautiful. I can't wait to put these cards in the sleeves. This looks so good. Amu. Oh, wait. I did just. I guess I didn't um, mention some. So, yeah. As you see here, Follower. Those are like, you know, your monsters in the game or units. And of course, you have spells. But you have your spell. It'll say it right there. Of course, in English, Amulet are cards that actually stay on the field, like continuous spells, things like that. Another spell. Another Follower. This guy looks crazy. Another spell. I heard this like evo this supposed to be evolution cards. Like cards are gonna okay, evolve. Okay, so this is we're gonna go to your this your actual evolve deck. So it's like your extra deck, and it's pretty cool because you don't see a lot of games where that come with like an extra deck. Only really Yu-Gi-Oh does, and Carfight Vanguard for a while did. I mean, unless you play premium, you still could. But yeah, so these cards are the cards you will be able to evolve from. They'll have the same name and evolve. Let's see if we can match these up. There's another evolve. Okay, so this, I think this is pretty, so her evolve, let's see if we can find it, her, clearly this is her, that's her evolve form, um, who else's evolve form comes next, oh, uh, we know, it's the, him, you can clearly see, they're, they're, the pictures are relatively the same, and that one, what, did we get a little fairy, follower, yeah, this, this is her, this is her evolve form, Clearly, and you can even look on the. You can even look. They have the same exact like name and everything. It's just that one's gonna say evolve on it. I think that's pretty cool. And what's the last one? Oh, we we know where's he at? There he goes. Really, really cool. I like the concept of evolution. The last time you really see evolutions in Pokemon, but that's probably mainly in the main deck. So this is really cool. So the forest crab deck, and you get your whole bunch of tokens because they like to you spam out a lot of fairies, which I believe mostly go in the EX area, and then you can move into the field. So, really, really cool. Whew, that was a lot to go through. How much time did we go through? Oh, wow. This is going to be a long video if I don't just get right through this. Let's go, people. Ooh. Spent a lot of time there. Hope you guys don't mind, though, that I spent some time, like, really looking into those cars and admiring that artwork. You know, sometimes I don't want to put long videos, but I think that the term, like, people look at it like, oh my goodness, I do not want to sit there for, like, <laughs> that long. This is this guy talk. We don't have to really open this up. Okay, and we have our leader card. And it's the same type of hard card stock. It looks really cool. This is, let's see... These are going to be your tokens, so I guess this deck does a lot of token stuff, and I'm really happy about it. Look this, you got your, there's some human soldier token, which I'm pretty much just saying that because Magic the Gathering or something like it, what it'll be called. Of course, I never mentioned this before, you know, I just like saying little tidbits here, I think this is like your attack, this is your health, your health decreases every, you know, creatures attack each other at the same exact time, so one and one is both going to knock each other out. Well, of course, this is going to be two and one, so this guy will survive because he only takes one damage, but that damage lasts for the whole turn, which means you can attack with something else and get over it. So even really, really big cards, you could take out weaker cards by weakening them with other attacks. Oh, man, and I got to tell you, the quality of these cards are amazing. I want this game in English, man. Is there a petition we could do with something? Because this looks beautiful. Oh, look at that. She looks so freaking cool. That katana and everything. And man, look at her power. LG, I think. Is that Legend? I think that's Legend, probably. Oh, he looks pretty cool. These are like a Magic the Gathering style. This game has a lot of different types of artwork. I can't wait to see the evolution cards to see who's actually about. Let me put this down a little bit. Oh, we got a Kunoichi over here. 
he looks freaking awesome. He reminds me from the dude from um, Seafood from Soul Calibur. <laughs> this little ninja guy. He looks really cool as well. Oh, look at him. Oh, damn. Look at this guy's arm, too. He looks freaking awesome. This arm looks insane. All right, so we got a spell card here. Another spell. Another spell. A lot of spells. The other one came with some amulets. This one's a lot of spells. Him again. Okay, so I believe there's like a generic class where, okay, you see here this little crown thing that's like sword, and then you know this one had like a leaf that was like forest. These are like normal Pokemon, but they can just put it in like in any deck. I feel that's a weird way to put it. But you know, they're generic. They can go in any type of deck. That's why. So I think we're gonna see evolution of him as well. He's just a generic card you can put in with evolution. Oh, he's generic as well. Yeah, she's generic. Ooh, she looks cool. Valkyrie looking card. And evolve. Okay. Oh, you know, this is fun. I like this part. We try to find out who the evolves are. Okay. Clearly. Who's next? Ooh, him. Ah. 3-1. Who's the guy with 3-1? Usually it goes in order, right? 3-1. 3-1. 3-1. Oh, no. It wouldn't be 3-1. Of course, the, the the power would change. It would get stronger. Crack. Who is it? Is it him? Let me look at the... Um, no. It's not him. Who is it? Wait, it's not him. He's clearly strong, a stronger card. Here he goes. That's him. That's the evolution. His hairstyle got, got way different. Did he get younger? This guy. We 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 seen him before. He's one with the two swords. There we go. And I believe lastly we're gonna see that goblin because I think that's just the one they're gonna give all the time. There you go. So yeah, we're always going to get that Goblin Evolution because it's the generic card in the deck. Oh man, this game is so freaking cool. Whew, next. My back is hurting. I'm bending over just to... <laughs> I don't have a good camera set up, people. You know? Oh, let's fix this. My setup is not like grand or anything like that. And also, if you're wondering why I only got these decks, is because I was just ordering like I was ordering the new Rush Duel set, the um, the Master Row pack, and I was like, I might as well just order these, and they're a lot cheaper to get straight from Japan than like ordering off of an English site. And then you know, I know I'm not trying to put English sites out of business or sell these, but a lot of these are selling for like twenty something dollars. I got these for like fourteen a piece. From directly from Japan. I'm just saying that if you a lot of times if you order things directly from Japan, it's so much easier because you're only getting their prices. And of course, the shipping could be high, but if you order it with something that was already going to be, if you're ordering with something already, it doesn't matter. I was already going to order the Rush Duel set, so it just the shipping is exactly the same. It didn't add on to it or anything. If you get what I'm saying, I mean, if I did, if I didn't like order, if I wasn't gonna order the Rush Duel set, it probably the shipping probably would have hurt. But I was already getting the Rush Duel set, so it didn't matter. There's a leader card. Looks awesome. Also, like, I didn't get the other decks. I'll get them later when I order the newest Rush Duel set, the one that's coming after the Mega Row Pack. But of course, I chose these decks first because I'm not even ashamed to say I, I chose I, I chose like the decks with the the waifu bait in front of it. Sue me. I, I like pretty girls. What do you want from me? This looks incredible. I, I, I don't know. I love things like this. are like just pure constructs. That's why I like um that number monster, Atlantis or Atlantis. So cool. I love like that type of like big rock monster thing. It looks really cool. I know you're going to say like golems. Like maybe I should have said that. Oh, she looks awesome. She looks badass. I like that. Oh my goodness. She looks cool too. This is more like the the magic cla magic craft or mage craft. I'm not sure. I think that's what it's called. Ooh, he looks pretty cool as well. Oh dang. Also, I didn't think about it. L G G R S R. I think these are like the rarities of like the cards in the game as well. The actual mobile game. They look like um gotcha type of you know rarities. That's how it sounds. Penguin. I hope he has an evolve form. Oh my goodness, he better have an evolve form. Oh, she looks cute. Oh, dang. This artwork is insane. Oh, my goodness. This is a spell card. Is this a spell card? That's a spell card. 
spell card, spell card. The other one didn't have amulets. I just thought about it. I don't think I saw amulets in the other one. So let's see if this one has amulets. Oh man, this probably what might be my favorite deck. So cool. Follower. Generic follower. I wonder if we're gonna get that goblin guy again. Another spell. This looks great. Making sure everything's on camera. Just another spell. Oh, this is the fun part. Okay, her. I know we've seen her. There we go. It's her evolved form. I love how it's easy to kind of like tell. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> Yo, where are you at? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. The penguin got the evolved form. I didn't know. I was just hoping. I love the way that penguin looks. He looks so cool. I was like, oh my god, is this penguin better have an evolved form? Holy crap, I'm so happy about that. Ooh, and her, I know we've... Okay, I think she's the one that I said was cute before. There we go. And we didn't get the goblin. Maybe the goblin comes in like three decks and, not, and then uh, the other three decks come with another generic one. Because she's like... Where's she at? Come on. She's all at the end. There we go. That's definitely her. I mean, just in case you guys are saying, wait, that looks nothing like her. Just look at the... Look at the kanji there. Okay. One more deck, people. One more deck. Because I hope you guys are having fun like I am. This is... This is so cool. I, I love opening brand new card games, looking at the cards. Just It just makes you want to play. And the only thing is, is that I got to learn Japanese then. Because you don't know if all these great games are going to come out in English. Like, Build Divide. I'm just looking at them. I'm like... I can't really, like, play it unless I... Or, you know... Make some proxies or something, or print out the card text to throw in front of the cards. Because it's really hard to try to memorize all this stuff. And you're just like, I just wanted it in English, you know? I don't even care if it comes out in English and I'd be like, oh, I spent my money on all these. Because then these could just get thrown into a binder. I have the original ones from the original Japanese ones. I just wanted it in English, people. I'm going to keep all the decks in here just to keep them safe for a while. But let's see what we got. We got our leader card here. She looks cute. And this is gonna be crazy because I see a big skeleton behind her and I think this is the shadow craft or blood. I can't remember what it's called in this one. We got our tokens. Oh, we got ghosts. This looks cool. Whoa, look at that bat. You know we're gonna do something with vampires. And we got our wall points. So let's see what comes in this deck. Got some cool looking succubus looking type of card. Of course, the front cards are like, they, they always seem like the strongest ones, so I guess that's like your, kind of like your aces of the deck. Okay. And then, oh, this dude is definitely a vampire. He looks cool. Do they all have the same color back? Okay, yeah, they have the same color borders. I was going to say, do they? Because it seems weird. Oh, but she doesn't have a border. I think all the aces don't have borders. Wait, let me see. Yeah, they don't have the same kind of board. Okay, so that's how you can tell, like, they're a really higher rarity card. Okay, you got, like, a witch here with some ghosts. She looks nice. I hope she has an evolved form. That's a crazy-looking bat. Oh, look at this ghost. I really like this deck, too. <laughs> okay, I changed it. I take it back. I take it back. The little mummy guy better have the evolved form. I'd rather him... Oh, and her. Oh, I want them to have evolved forms. Goat looking dude, he looks cool, she looks cool. Oh my god, I want all these dudes have to evolve. Wait, but this is a spell card. Wait, let me go back, let me go back. Okay, this was a follower. This is a spell card. This is a spell card. This is a spell card. We only have one deck with amulets. He's a generic follower, we've seen him before. Barda, oh, he's not as smart, he's freaking huge. Yo, no, don't mess with him. We got her again. Evolve, okay. I like this part of the, the, the video, so. Get that rid of that plastic. We'll recycle it later. Clearly her. We know it's the witch girl. Who's coming up next? Get out of here. Did it happen? No! No way! Wait, where is he? Where is he? I gotta I gotta look at the kanji. It's him! I'm so happy the ones I want to evolve actually evolve, even though that's that's kind of not saying much. I wanted a lot of these in this deck to evolve. One that girl's gonna evolve. She's evolved too. Okay, so I think like a lot of the one, the ones I really really want to evolve actually do. There we go. And we didn't get the goblin or that girl that we normally get. So who's the generic in this one? The 
giant guy. Where is he? Giant dude. Yeah, this is him, right? Yeah, this is him. Cool. I like that. Dang. He's massive in power and defense or shield or whatever it's called. All right, people. Well, that was all the decks. That was starter decks one, two, three, and six. Um, let me know what you guys think about this card game. If you know anything about it, um, do you just are you just okay looking at the, the artwork like I am as well? I'm just so excited. I don't even know what I really want to ask you guys because it's just so cool. I just want to get these in card sleeves and start doing some pseudo test battles with them because I kind of a little bit know how to play it. I was watching some videos on kind of how to play it, but I need to still know what each individual card does. Other, oh, otherwise, I just got to say it out here. Bushi Road, you're not watching this video. I'm not popular enough. But if you did happen to stumble across this because Shadowverse is in the name, please, we want this in English. Please, you gave us Dragonborn and that was terrible. At least give us something good. I mean, this game, Clearly, it, it's in a, it's in English when you can play the mobile game. Capitalize with that cross promotion. Give us Shadowverse Evolve. I also wanted, so I'm gonna get the next two decks as well, and I'm probably gonna buy a box. I'm really excited about box number two because it comes with cards from Shadowverse Flame, the anime series. I can't wait to see some cards I've been seeing in the anime actually, you know, in the physical card game. So until next time, people, like, comment, subscribe, peace out, and I'll try to bring you guys some more openings. I think the next opening that's coming up is going to be a Beyblade one so for those of you guys who also like Beyblade videos get a look out for that one because I did buy the whole random booster set so until next time people peace out um and I'll see you guys in the comments so if you love when you guys actually comment I try to get back to all of you guys